Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survivalist, and we return to Mandibles for a new hunt. Now, last week, we finally got to see the beautiful, majestic, monstrous Yekalopterus. So we're going to be going after them again. And I'm going to take the railgun. I also want to take... Ah, uh, did it do? Maybe we'll take that, that. Yeah, we'll do that, because what I'm trying to do... Apparently, they have a mortal zone, which basically means if you... I don't know if that means one shot can down it if you hit that mark. I'm guessing no, but then again, from what we've been doing with Carnivores Plus, maybe. However, I have no idea where that mortal zone is on it. So we're going to spend this week's episode going after a few of them, getting a few more points up so we can kind of unlock some new stuff. And also testing out to see where that mortal zone may be. Looking at it right now, I have no idea. I'm going to turn Tranks off as well, because apparently we actually haven't been getting any trophies with tranquilizers on. So let this be a note. If you want to fill up your trophy room, you cannot tranquilize your animals. You've got to put them down. As for where we're going to try aiming, I almost feel like... I don't think the eyes, but maybe those two little eyes on the top of the head are what we have to aim for. I may be mistaken on that, and it could be somewhere else entirely, maybe even where those two pincers kind of meet. Anyway, we're going to go into some hunts, see how we do, and try to take them down. So everything's looking good, so let's go into a brand new hunt. Okay, so we're all loaded in here now. We've got... I may we'll start with the rail gun. Just so that way we can actually properly get one of them down if we find them. And I do have the view distance set to its default again. I gotta say, it makes the world feel so tiny with... I have to say, the view distance is something in games you really feel the difference if it's low or high. If it's low like this, the world feels kind of compact and tight and really small. It's If you have it at its highest though, the world feels so open and big and vast. But I just want to make sure that we don't have the foliage clipping that we were having. Actually, even Carnivores Plus, the last episode, we, on Basmachi Rocks, we were running into that. So I want to try avoiding that just so that way it's not... I mean, there's no real way to fix it unless you were to go in and reduce the amount of foliage as the modder. So there's not really a way to fix that aside from lowering that view distance down in order to make it as is. And I really am going to have to do something tomorrow morning, or sometime tomorrow, about just... I don't know, it's because I shaved it down recently from where it was, and it growing back is just itching more, or if it's just something about the air or in the air. But we do want to be careful, because we actually encountered the two Yakelopterus on our... I can't remember if it was our first or our second... There was one time where we encountered them, though, last video, where there was one just through the gates there, and one actually up top there. Oh, Lord. Oh. Yeah, even with the full clip, that did not take it down, so we're going to restart, wherever we are. Yeah, restart. Okay, so we're back, and yeah. That's a very unwelcome... <laughs> That was basically our, you don't get to go through the gates of dawn, I guess. You shall not... It's basically Lord of the Rings with Gondolf. No, Gandalf. Actually, I'm not even sure what their correct pronunciation is, but... You shall not pass. And the Balrog basically said, no. Screezy, bam, bam, bam. I mean, we are basically used as... Oh, crap. Yeah, okay, so I don't think it's the eyes on the top of the head. I almost think maybe it's that little kind of box. Let's restart. Okay, so we're back, restarted again. I'm going to take this out. I think it might actually be maybe the little box on the front of it. But I could even be mistaken about that as well. It kind of makes me wish there was a little bit of the Resident Evil glowy bit logic to them. Where... The weak spots are, for some reason, glowing, just to help you know what you're supposed to be aiming for. 
but they also have incredible detection range on us. Okay, that was... We can sort of hear them moving from a ways off, though, too, so that's beneficial. But I really don't know where we got to aim on them. I know the Gojirosaurus, I think the basic... I don't know if it really had a mortal zone, but it had a high resistance unless I think you're shooting right in its mouth. Because when we did the Triassic bonus episode where we actually took them on and took a few down, it was always... That always, I'm not sure why I'm going Elmer Fudd with getting ours in there. But it was always right when they are about to basically bite and get into us that our shots seem to take them down. So I don't know if for the Ecoloptrus we almost have to do that as well. Or if it's something where it's actually somewhere on the underside we have to aim for. It's going to be difficult trying to determine where that zone might be. I feel like it almost has to be somewhere where it's charging you, you have access to it. Because otherwise, I don't know if you'd really be able to get a shot off to it. It's either the underbelly, which already I think would make for a very difficult shot. Oh. Okay, that was not the mortal zone. Oh, crap. I hear another one, but I think we're... Sounds like it might actually be in the gate itself again. Yeah, it is. Oh, crap. Ah. Okay, we'll restart again. Okay, we're back again. And I do have to admit, I wish there was some visual indicator of the mortal zone. Like, considering how it is... I really don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for or aiming for, and it's... Or is it supposed to be like that little dot on the tail? Okay, well, for s it does have some weird mortal zones on it. Or at least immortal zones, because I think almost every railgun shot landed on this guy. But we were aiming a lot of the underside and nothing, so... I don't think it's the eyes. It may be those eyes, or it might be this right here. But again, I don't really know. I thought we would have seen the dropship by now. Yeah, I really don't know where you could have a mortal zone on this guy. I don't... I may try for the eyes, but I feel like that's not going to be it. Seriously, where is the... We got the notification we took it down, I'm pretty sure. Well, let's head back and see how we're sitting just with points with the one. I think it's going to be another 38 to the total, but we'll see once we head back. Yeah, so we're back into the thing. I think I am going to stay on the Gates of Dawn just because we get some better opportunities against them. I am going to turn the view range back up to high. Just because I feel like for this experimental version more of trying to figure out the mortal zone, it might not hurt to use whatever we can for it. And, uh... Maybe next time we come back, we'll try even using camouflage and cover and radar. And just try to figure out what it is that we got to aim for on these things. I, it still may be, again, those two little eyes on the very top of it. It's nothing, I think, on the underbelly. Otherwise, I think the railgun would have gotten one of the shots off. 
It's either that little box kind of underneath the front there, which I haven't gotten yet, or those little eyes on top that we would just be very difficult to hit anyway. But everything's looking good, so let's go in for another Yakelopters hunt and try to find this mysterious mortal zone. I didn't even think any of these actually had a mortal zone to them, so that's why I'm also confused on if it still has or not. Because I imagine there would have been mention of it somewhere in the descriptions, but nothing. But let's head in and go for a new hunt and see if we can get lucky. Or we're skillful. Let's be honest, it's going to be if we're lucky or not. Okay, so we're back into it. We got the railgun at the ready. We got a Mako Cup. I don't think I put you on the Ross. Yeah, we only have the Ecolopter select selected. Why are you... That's odd. Wonder if I should even try taking some shots on it just because we can or leave it. Ah, you know what? Let's... Yeah, we'll just do that. I mean, it is just a Malcolm and one shot with the railgun easily takes it down. And if we had the hole puncher, I could have used that. I may even try working up to get the hole puncher in order to try for this mortal zone. But if we don't get it in today's episode, maybe I'll leave it to you guys in the comments and let me know if it does truly exist and where it is supposed to be. Because it is one of the things where I could spend hours trying and trying and trying and not really get any feedback on if it's where it sh seems to be or not. I am going to head up here again though, just because this did give us a bit more of an opportunity. Come on. Hippity hop our way on up. There we go. She said hippity hop. There. Come on. There we go. Now we did have some of them charge up here to find and get us, but... I really have no idea what we're supposed to be looking for with these guys. Like, nothing stands out incredibly apparently for what would be a good mortal zone on them. Like, I... Like, and the old T-Rex, I think, was probably the same way in Carnivores. I don't know if there's any mention that you had to shoot for the eye or not. But on these guys, again, it's kind of hard to figure out. I feel like maybe there is a connection to the T-Rex where it has to be one of the eyes. On the same token, I don't have anything to really base that off of. Okay, nothing around here. I don't even know if I want to call them in. Welcome back to the Survival vs. Dumb Ideas. Surprisingly no reply back. Although very interesting call for it. This isn't exactly going to be like uh, Triassic where I can try running up onto a hill or something to get away or exploit their AI pathfinding a bit. I'm basically right on ground zero with them all. And with their size, you can't exactly duke them like you do for every other... Well, actually, a lot of mandibles things you can't really do. The manipulator you can get one or two on. You might be able to with the Kratorobus. I think the Protosopu guy you won't be able to, and definitely I don't think you can with the Yekalopterus. Just going to try running from hilltop to hilltop at the moment. But the way I think we'll know if we hit the mortal zone is we're going to basically drop it with either a weaker firearm when we run out of railgun ammo. Or we'll drop it using the railgun and it'll be with not the full ammo that, it, or not the entire ammo belt of it. Okay, I don't hear any. So we're going to, again, sprint to the next hill. I'm basically trying to be a sniper here without any idea of what I'm aiming for. Aside from it being a gigantic... I'm not even sure if I should call it a sea scorpion, like... 
Okay, so where are you big things? Okay, I don't see anything on the horizon, although I thought I heard some kind of reply. I also don't know what the tick tick is in the sound mix. It almost sounds like it's tapping against something metal. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I didn't hear anything again. Okay. And the good news is we don't actually have anything aside from Makokana this hunt, so... It's... Not too big of a deal if we do get taken out by them. I just wish we could try to get a little bit of progress on determining what we got aim for. And I'm really surprised we're not seeing any. This is peculiar and unnerving. Just with how much it takes to get them down unless you hit that mortal spot or mortal zone. Even if we know what it is, that still doesn't mean we'll get hits off on it easily. Okay. Still no signs of any. Okay, I think that was definitely a reply back from something. Okay, I see movement up there, and I... Yeah, that's definitely its tail. Or a tail of one... Okay, there it is. So what would I have to aim for on you? I almost feel like... See, from the looks of it, I'd almost assume right underneath it. But I don't know for sure, and I don't know if you would really be able to get many opportunities... Like, it's getting close to presenting itself, sort of like we had the initial one, but I never really did get to shoot right underneath the head. And I don't want to call it in, because that's going to completely... ...block the target again. Okay, uh, nope. Random Arthur Fleur about, too. Hmm. Now there's the Titan over there. I mean, I don't really have any other words to describe it because of just what it is. I'm not getting any good shots to try to go for that area that I'm thinking of. I'm basically thinking where all the legs connect on the underbelly. Is that maybe that's like a soft, squishy part of it? Sort of like crocs or crocodilians in a way? Actually, a lot of armored animals really had a soft underbelly to make up for the armoring on other parts. Well, let's do it. Oh, I almost need to try to lure it to a different point and then be at a different spot from where the lure was. At least if I knew it was going a certain direction, I could trail up behind it, but this one is just going back and forth in such an awkward spot. Okay, it's got quite a bit of distance from us now, and it if it keeps going that way, that'd be good. But the problem is, I have a feeling it's going to want to turn and go another direction.
Okay, let's be smart. We're going to head up this way. I aim with the auto exposure on my camera. I really gotta do something about the curtain situation. Okay. Make our way up this way. Okay, there it is. Oh, and there's a second one. Yeah, so... I don't know where that mortal zone is on it. We're going to exit. The only guess I can say is maybe the two eyes on the head. I can't see it being something underneath because then if it's charging at you already, you have maybe next to no ability to actually get under there, so. And I don't think it's something like the whittle, nah, not whittle, little little flippers on the very back, so I have no idea where the mortal zone is. Nothing about it really screams aim here or shoot at this, etc. Like, you should probably try to hint at. So I'm at a loss, I gotta admit. I have no idea on this guy. It's a very cool design, and I do like it, but if it's going to include a mortal zone, I wish there was something to kind of determine what that was a little more. The only thing I can really guess is those two tiny eyes on the very top of its head. If it's somewhere else, I really would be at a loss at guessing where it is. But we've at least gotten ourselves, well, a few more points. Not a lot, so we'll probably be working against the Noodleus and the Railgun next. I do gotta admit, I, I wonder if there are mortal zones on the other end, that's why they're as tanky as they are then. If they are, again, I wish there was a way that's conveyed to you that way you know, instead of just kind of luck and stumbling across it. But we will leave things off here, and like I say, if you guys know the Mortal Zone, let me know in the comments and let everybody else know. Otherwise, these things are so hard to hunt more than one in, an out in a single outing. But thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of Mandibles. If you do like the series, be sure to leave a like or comment down below. And if you want to support the channel and its growth, maybe think about subscribing if you haven't. We're always welcoming new members to the community, and we're hoping to grow slowly over here on YouTube. So, until I see you all in the next episode, those survivors and hunters alike, please remember to take care, and stay alive!